ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृतम जीवनरोक्तम देवीं सरस्वती व्यास तदोदय उदीर ಮುಖಂಕರೋಚಾಲಂಗೇ ಕೃಪಾತ್ಮಂದೇಶ್ರೀಗುರುಂದೇಂದ್ರಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪದೃಪ್ಯಸ್ಯಕೃಪಾಂಸೂಪೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋವಿಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತೇ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪಗದಾಮಯಂ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಾಪದಾಂತಿಕೋಪಾದಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಕೆಂಟು ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪೃಥು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಗಾಡ್ ಎಡ್ ವರ್ಷ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ and today is also shila loknath goswami's disappearance day one of the important uh, goswami so proper mentions verse uh, number 16 kani aakase dravam toye yathasthanam vibhagasa ಕ್ಷಿತಿ ಅಂಬಸಿ ತತ್ಜಸಿ ಅಧೋ ವಾಯೋ ನಭಸಿ ಅಮೋ ಕಾನಿ ಆಕಾಶೆ ದ್ರವಂ ತೋಯೇ ಯಥಾಸ್ಥಾನ ವಿಭಾಗಸ ಕ್ಷಿತಿ ಅಂಬಸಿ ತತ್ಜಸಿ ಅಧೋ ವಾಯೋ ನಭಸಿ ಅಮೋ ಕಾನಿ ಆಕಾಶೆ ದ್ರವಂ ತೋಯೇ ಯಥಾಸ್ಥಾನ ವಿಭಾಗಸ ಕ್ಷಿತಿ ಅಂಬಸಿ ತತ್ಜಸಿ ಅದೋ ವಾಯೋ ನಸಿ ಅಮೋನಿ ದ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಆಕಾಶ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ದ್ರವಂ ದ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ತೋಯೆ ಇನ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಯಥಾಸ್ಥಾನ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ವಿಭಾಗ ಸಹ ಎಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಕ್ಷಿತಿ ಅರ್ಥ್ ಅಂಬಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ತತ್ ದಟ್ ತೇಜಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೈರ್ ಅದ ದ ಫೈರ್ ವಾಯು ಇನ್ ದ ಏರ್ ನಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ಅಮೋನ್ ದಟ್ translation by divine grace of bhakti vedant sam shubhapad shubhapad gaye in this way according to the different positions of the various parts of the body through the maharaj merges the holes of his senses with the sky his bodily liquids such as blood and various secretions with the totality of the water and he merges earth with water and then water with fire fire with air air with sky and so on repeat in this way according to the different positions of the various parts of the body truth maharaj merges the holes of his senses with the sky his bodily liquids such as blood and various secretions with the totality of the water emerge earth with water then water with fire fire with air air with sky and so on for god wish proper in this verse two words are very important yatha sthanam vibhagasa in shrimad bhagavatam second canto fifth chapter lord drama clearly explained in narada how the creation takes place and he explained one step of another proper divisions of the senses the control of the senses the objects of the senses and the material elements and he also explained how they are created one after another the air from the sky fire from the air water from the fire earth from water etc it is important to know thoroughly the process of creation as it applies to this cosmic manifestation similarly this body is also created according to the same process by the supreme lord the personality of godhead 
<clears throat> after entering the universe creates the cosmic manifestations one after another. Similarly, the living entity after entering a womb of mother, he also collects his gross and subtle bodies. Taking ingredient from the totality of the sky, air, fire, water and earth. This, the word Yathasthana Vibhav indicates that one should know the process of creation and should meditate upon the creative process inversely and thus become free from the material contamination. Here the process of creation is explained how other than these elements as we have described. As Bhumi Rapa Vanulavai Kambuddhi Mano Eva Chahankar Ithiyam Vinna Prakruta Vyasprata How these gross elements Mahabhuta is all happening by Maya Yarama Sana Vyoga Sthiyasa Atma Ramaya Rangya Thakta Kalam Susurutu Drukshaya By the Lord's Mahavishnu Karanavadu Kusavishnu's plans activating the these material elements on manifested form as Pradhanam it is called these 25, 26 elements in the manifest stage by the Lord sending the time factor, glancing on these elements, then it gets activated. Then the three modes of material nature are produced from the picture. That's when this creation is happening. That glance is transferred through, you know, so, what, through Rama, the Vichit potency, to, to, through Sadasi and Durga Devi. And Shambhuan uh, Durga Devi takes that that's how the milk is transformed into yogurt because of the culture something to be added in order to become yogurt same way so the lord shiva and the durga devi takes that position and then the these 24 25 elements the gross elements uh, are there as soon as lord mahavishnu uh, produces this universe coming out and then within that you know, the both side, uh, Vishnu is entering. So the first is sound vibration from there, ether from there, the um, air has come about, and then fire and the water, the water and the higher mass elements, and then the mind intelligence, false ego, and the real ego is in the spiritual world, but when the living entity trying to enjoy separately from this world. So, until we revive our lost relationship and identify and then act as a dependently on the personality of Godhead as cooperatively. That is our position in the introduction of Bhagavad Gita. Throughout Bhagavad Gita, Shukhova's last instruction is cooperation. Is always we have to cooperate with the will and the desire of the spiritual master and the Supreme Lord. That's when our progress and our actual reviving of our original position of Jivir Sarupa and Nitya Krishna Das can be revived and revealed. Until that point, it cannot be revealed. It cannot be revived our original position. So it's, and we will see that in the Lokanath Goswami is uh, very, very important to direct disciple of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, exemplifying how one should serve and one should develop attachment to the deity. It was intensely attached to the deity uh, such an extent that uh, Lord directly manifested and told that um, so to worship him. So that's how Lokanath Goswami has established uh, this uh, deity. And he didn't even want a temple, he didn't want any disciple either. But uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu directly instructed him to accept disciple, one disciple. And so Sri Nirottam Das Thakur, famous disciple. We'll see, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is mentioning, instructing him to go to Vrindavan. She is one of the first uh, disciples to go to Bhugarbha Goswam, Lokanath Goswam, in Chaitanya Jaitanya, they mentioned, Sangha Gopala Patta Dasara Gunad, Raghunad Patta Gosani, Ara Lokanath. When Rupa Goswami stayed at Madhura, he accompanied by Gopala Patta Goswami, Raghunad Das Goswami, Raghunad Patta Goswami, and Lokanath Das Goswami. Uh, Purport Prabhupada is mentioning. See, Lokanath Goswami is a personal associate of Sri Chaitra Mahaprabhu and a great devotee of Lord. He was a resident of village named Talakadi in the district of Ishwar, Jashore in Bengal. Previously, he lived in Kanchanapada. His father's name was Padmanabha. And his only sibling was younger brother named Pragalba. Following the orders of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Lokanath went to Vrindavan to live. He established a temple um, named Gokulananda 
Sri Narottam Das Thakur selected Loknath Goswami to his to be his spiritual master. And Narottam Das Thakur uh, was his only disciple because Loknath Goswami did not want his name mentioned in Chaitanya Charitamrita. We do not often see in this celebrated book on the ERR, uh, EBR railroad and Eshwar station in the, located in Bangladesh. On the railway station, one has to go by bus to the village. Swanakali, from there to Kejur, from there one has to walk or during the rainy season, go by boat to the village Talakadi in the village. And still descendants of Lokanath Goswami's anger um, brother. Uh, further details in Bhakti Ratnagar is uh, mentioned about Lokanath Goswami. So Lokanath Goswami is the only one Goswami to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he was still Nimai Pandit in Navadri Dham. Before he took sannyas, Sri Lokanath Goswami is considered to be Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's direct disciple and associate. Prior to coming to Navadri, he lived in the village of Talkar in Jasod district. Prior to that, he resided in Kanchanapada. His father's name was Padmanabh Chakravarti and his mother's name was Sita Devi. This is confirmed from Bhakti Ratnakar. Srimad Radha Vinoda Ekaseva Sampat Saman Vitam Padmanabh Atmaja Srimad. Lokanada Prabhu Baje. I worship Lokanada Prabhu, the son of Padmanabha, whose life revolved around the wealth of the service he possessed to his deity Radha Vinoda. So much attack he was carrying on his shoulder this day, this particular deity. These descendants of Lokanada's brother, Pragalma Bhattacharya, are still living in Thakari Bhugar Bhugoswami is Lokanada's closest associate, like Nardhun and Paravatam, they always go together. Like that, Bhugar Bhugoswam, Loknath Goswam is very intimate. They always. He was a Prema Manjari in Raja, Mundavan Lila. According to Gaur Gandho, Desh Deepika. According to Salam Deepika, Bhugar Bhav was Loknath's paternal uncle. Loknath Goswam renounced his household ashram in 1510 and came to meet Mahaprabhu as Nimai Pandit in Audi Dham. Mahaprabhu told him that he should go live in Vrindavan and discover the location of all Krishna's pastimes places in Raja. Mahaprabhu then confided in him that it was his intention to take sannyas very shortly and after meeting him there himself, Loknath Goswami started to cry when he imagined the Lord without his beautiful curly hair and the acute distress the devotees would feel at his departure. And the Lord saw Sri Loknath Goswami's anxiety, he embraced him and consoled him with various spiritual instructions and Loknath Goswami surrendered completely to him. When Bhugarbha saw how unhappy Loknath was, he decided to also accompany him to Vrindavan. The two companions walked through Rajmal, Tajapur, Purnia, Lucknow, and many other holy places before finally arriving in Praja. Although he had come to Vrindavan and Mahaprabhu's water, Lokanath constantly felt intense separation from the Lord and felt great anguish shedding copious tears in separation to see him again. When he received the news that Mahaprabhu had taken sannyas and gone to Puri and from there to South India on a, on a pilgrimage, Lokanath hurried to Southern India in order to join him. When he arrived in Saudi, he heard that Mahaprabhu was no longer there, uh, no longer there, but he had gone to Vrindavan. Loknath immediately set off for Vrindavan, hoping to meet the Lord there. But when he arrived, he heard that Lord had gone to Prayag, disappointed but still determined to see the Lord. Loknath decided to set off once again for Prayag. This time, however, Mahaprabhu appeared to him in a dream and told Loknath, to stop moving here and there and remain in Vrindavan to discover Krishna's pastime places and perform his bhajan. Not long afterwards, Sri Rupa, Sri Sanatana, Sri Gopal Goswami, as well as other associates of the Lord started coming to live in bhajan on the Lord's order. Their association brought Loganath Goswami immense joy. And Sri Rupa was getting old, he found it difficult to walk all the way to Sri Guruvaraj Gordon to take darshan of Gopal. And of his intense desire, Gopal came to stay at the house of Vettalesur and Mutra ostensibly out of fear of Muslim uh, Islam class, but actually to show his mercy to Rupa Goswami, the deity stayed there for a month during which time Sri Rupa came for his darshan along with Loknath and other Godi Vaishnavas. Sri Loknath Goswami worshipped Radha and Krishna in deep separation. This is the mood mm, which Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm. Yuga itam me shena chikshusha prabhusha itam sunya itam jagat sarvam govinda mirahiram. Asli Shavam, Padratam, Kinastu, Mam, Marmahatam, Kurutatalam, Padu, Makran, and others to say even Abra. Gopis of Vrindavan are in ten separation, and these Goswamis are also direct associates of Radha and Krishna. This place serving Shimati Radharani and serving Lalta and Vishaka. These are Manjari's assisting Lalta and Vishaka, direct service to Radha and Krishna. Then 
He was always afraid of slightest amount of pain. Thus, he forbade Krishnadas Kaviju Raj Goswami to write anything about him and Chaitan Chiridamata. With the result, with the result, and nothing was written about him there other than his name. Sri Sanatana Goswami also mentioned his name in the Mangala Charana to his Haribhakti Vilas as well as in his Vaishnava Toshwani commentary on the 10th Kandas Mahat Bhagavad. Sri Lokanath Goswami constantly travelled throughout Raja ecstatically discovering many holy places where Krishna had engaged his past times. Once he went to Kandiravan. They, then he visited Kishori Kun near the village of Umrao by Chatravan. He was so impressed by the beauty of the site that he stayed there for some time to do his bhajan in isolation. After being absorbed in Nama bhajan for some time, Lokanath Goswami developed a deep desire to worship Radha and Krishna in their deity form. The Lord always knows the desires of his devotees and feels obliged to fulfill them. This is what that's why everything depends on to recognize the desire of Acharya, desire of the Lord, and understand and fulfill and execute that instruction is not so easy. We have to have deep faith, deep conviction, deep absorption, and sincerely praying. Here we can see he thus came personally to give Lokanath a deity, Sri Chaitanya Mahap, through Mahaprabhu's mercy, directly Lord uh, Himself appeared. He thus came personally to give Lokanath deity, telling him before disappearing that it was name, its name was Radha Govinda. Chaitra Mahaprabhu was giving that. Lokanath's first reaction was astonishment at seeing the beautiful deity. Then he became filled with anxiety at the thought that the Lord himself had to personally come to him. But Sri Radha Vinod cast his feet glance on Lokanath and said to him, I have been living here in the village of Umra on the banks of Kishori Kund. I saw your eagerness to serve me. So I came here by my own desire. Who else but I could have brought me to you? Now I am very hungry. So quickly prepare some nice preparation for me to eat. When Lokanath heard these words, tears began to flow from his eyes. Unless we come to that mood, I'm thinking that I'm the fallen, I'm the lowest, and uh, so only Lord is my only shelter. And then only this can happen. These tears, some deep absorption. Then only Lord will appear. Lord will give instruction. Lord will tell that I'm hungry. It never happened to us because we are not in our consciousness. He quickly started cooking for Radha, you know, and then made an offering that the deity ate with great satisfaction. Lokanath then made Radha, you know, a bed of flowers upon which he placed him, fanned him with the leafy branches. See that, how to serve a deity, you can see, oh, no, personally, very much. And joyfully massaged his feet. Thereafter, Lokanath devoted himself fully to Radha Vinod in body, mind and soul. Lokanath wondered where he would keep his deity and he was constantly wandering through the land of Raja. Finally, he decided to make a large bag where he made it into Radha Vinod temple. Wearing a big bag around his neck, he was able to keep his worshipful deities close to his heart like a necklace. When people saw the depth of intimate affectionate between Lokanath and Radha Vinod, the Vrajavasis were attracted to him and offered to build a house for him and Radha Vinod, but Lokanath refused. See, he is so much renounced, he didn't want anything for him. His spirit of renunciation was so strong that he declined to accept anything, but he was absolutely needed for the day, deity service on. But whatever he is absolutely needed. After spending some time at Kishori Kund, Lokanath came to Vrindavan. He learned that Sri Rupa and Sanatana had ended their pastimes in the world and lamented their departure in great sadness. Around this time, Narottam Das Thakur, who was the son of Raja Krishna Ananda Dutta of Gopalpur in Rajaswahi, now in Bangladesh, came to Vrindavan and met him there. Many years earlier, when Mahaprabhu was traveling through Bengal, he cried in ecstasy after telling Nityananda to go to Puri. This took place at a spot on the banks of Padmavati River that is now known as Premathali. In fact, Mahaprabhu was, so, was storing his divine love there for Narottam Das Thakur's later benefit. Years later, when Narottam Das Thakur took his bath in the river at Premathali, he was immediately overcome with Prema and was inspired to cut off all family ties and go to Vrindavan. Upon his arrival in Vrindavan, Narottam met with Lokanath. He received Lokanath's special mercy, for he became his one and only disciple. Lokanath was extremely renounced and had made a vow not to accept any disciples. But Narottam Das Thakur also made a vow to take initiation from no one other than Lokanath. Narottam Das repeatedly asked Lokanath Goswami to give him initiation. 
But Lokanath Goswami's form in his refusal never to win his favor, Narottam Das went in the middle of the night to clean the area he used to use as a toilet. Lokanath was so surprised to see that the place was being kept clean every day and he became curious to find out who was doing this service. So one evening he went and he hid in, in some bushes silently and chanting Japa the entire night waiting to see who was this unknown person rendering service to him. At midnight, Lokanath saw someone approach and began cleaning the area. When he saw who it was, he was astonished that Narottam, the son of King Krishnananda Datta, was engaged in doing such a lowly task. Lokanath felt embarrassed and asked for what purpose was he doing this. Narottam immediately began to cry and fell at Lokanath Goswami's feet in distress. Oh, Master, my life is useless unless I obtain your mercy. When I realized, when Lokanath realized the depth of Narottam's humility and saw in his anguish, Lokanath's resolve to never accept anyone for initiation was softened and he accepted Narottam Das as his only disciple and imparted Vaishnava mantras to him. This is a perfect example how one can win over the worshipful deity through honest and selfless service. Narottam Das Thakur took initiation from Lokanath Goswami on the full moon day of month of Stravan, July to August which is right around this time. Sri Lokanath and Narottam Das Thakur engaged in this task time to show to the whole world the value of selfless, sincere service, especially to the people in Northam Bengal. Lokanath was very renounced Vaishnava, but he saw in Narottam someone who was not only had an educated and cultural background, but enthusiasm and taste for expanding Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's and Kirtan mission. As a result, he ordered him to go back to his homeland and propagate Krishna consciousness. When one has taken full shelter of Supreme Lord and situated on the transcendental platform in full service to the Lord, then he usually has no enthusiasm for engaging in activities for the welfare of people on the bodily platform. When a devotee of Narottam Das Thakur's caliber goes against these principles, then such a welfare activities themselves are honored and then they increase in prestige. See, so Narottam Das Thakur returned to Bengal and on the order of his spiritual master, he began to preach pure devotion service. Thus, delivered the people in his homeland, Narottam Das Thakur sings in his Pradhana, Aneka Dukkera Pare Laeche Vrajapure Kopa Ure Galaya Bandiya Daiva Maya Balat Kare Kasaya Se Ure Bava Kupe Kileka Ariya. After suffering much sadness, O Lord, you brought me to Vraja, pulling me by the rope of mercy, you had tied it around my neck. My aunt fate forced me back into the well of material existence by cutting loose that rope of mercy. Lokanath Goswami left this world somewhere around 1589 AD. On the eighth day of the dark moon in the month of Ashad, June to July, today is the day. The Samadhi tomb is found in Radha Kuklan and the temple in Nandavan. His beloved Radha Vinod deity continues to be served in the same temple. Is the Leela. Manjulali Manjuri, his name, 13 years, his age, eternally, is 13 years, 8 months, 7 days. His color is burning gold. He serves a Vastra Seva, preparing dresses for Radha and Krishna. So, this is now, it is interesting to note, Radha Gokula and how did, how did it happen? Because we are hearing deity manifested directly and, and, and Lord Chitra Mahavra personally gave this deity, Radha Vinod deity. But then why is it Radha Gokula and the, the proper mention in the purport that out of seven temples established by Logan and Goswami is the first one, Sri Radha Gokula and the temple. And then uh, Sri Radha Madan Mohan by uh, Sanatan Goswami and Radha Govinde by Rupa Goswami and uh, Shyamanam Pandit Radha Shyamsundar and Radha Gopinath, uh, Radhanath Das Goswami and then these are the seven and Radha, Radha Damodar by Jeeva Goswami. So Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Radha Raman Temple, and this way, these are the seven temples. So then, but where this Radha Gokulam came, this is by Vishwana Chakrat Thakur. Uh, we'll see that uh, Radha Gokulananda Temple uh, is located in this uh, same place as we're discussing, in between Keshi Ghat and Radha Raman Temple, Umbrao, Kishori Kun. Uh, in this temple, there are small Radha Vinod you know, deities of Lokanath Goswami and larger deities of Vijay Govinda, Bharadeva Vidya Goswami and Radha Gokulananda deities of Vishwa Chakra Thakur. The small deity of Krishna in the front, in front of Gokulananda and deity of Chaitra Mahaprabhu who worshipped Vinaratham Das Thakur. And Vishwanath Chakra Thakur arranged to have this temple built. Formerly, all the deities in this temple were worshipped alone in their own temples. 
originally Vishnu Chakravarta Guru worship the deity of Gokulananda at Radha Kund. He then moved to Radha Gokulananda, Vrindavan, and stayed with Loganath Goswami, where Loganath Goswami would do his bhajan. When the original temple of Radha Vinoda fell apart, Vishnu Chakravarta Thakur had another temple built and called it the Gokulananda Temple. Both his deity of Gokulananda and Radha Vinod they worshipped there. Mm. And this is how we can understand. Originally, there was no deity of Radharani in this temple. Jahanava Devi had a deity of Radha, Radha, Radharani, made it Jagannath Puri and installed the deity next to Radha Vinodde. That original deity of Radha Vinodde is now being worshipped in, Jag uh, in Jaipur. The deity was moved to Jaipur to protect the deity from the attack of Vrinda in um, Vrindavan by Mughals. This temple contains the Prithibhu Murtis of the original deities. It is considered there is no difference in potency between the original deity and Prithibhu Murti. The Samadhis of Loganath Goswami and Narottam Das Thakur, Usana Chakra Thakur are located in a small courtyard next to the temple. Loganath Goswami did his bhajan in the courtyard and left his body at this place. Narottam Das Thakur's Pushpa Samadhi are his garland, copings and cloth and mala. And Vishwanath Chakra Thakur entered Samadhi in 1674. He wrote the eight prayers of Guru Vastu, which we sing Samsara Dava. Loknath Goswami is contemporary of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mayor Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas. Loknath came to Vrindavan while visiting places of Krishna's pastimes while in the village of Umrav in the forest named Chitravan. Loknath Goswami discovered the deity of Radha Vinod. Loknath Goswami is the deity of Radha Vinod was revealed to him from his tank, from this tank in the village of Umrav on the bank of Kishori Kund. Loknath Goswami used to carry this deity in a big bag hanging from his neck. Loknath told Chaitanya that he did not want to take any disciple. Lord Chaitanya told him that he would take only one disciple and he would be sent by, that would be sent by him. When Narottam Das Thakur came to Vrindavan, he was attracted to be initiated by Loknath Goswami. Yes, which we heard. And then Narottam Das Thakur and Shamananda Pandit Srin was Acharya by the order of Jiva Goswami took the original manuscripts of the Goswami and brought them to Bengal to the to be copied. These devotees preached the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wherever they went with great enthusiasm. Mr. Chakra Thakur appeared in Gaudi Vaishnava line about a hundred years later. He, in this temple, you see Radha Vinod's deities of Loknal Goswami and Radha Gopala and the deities of Mr. Chakra Thakur and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu deity of Narottam Das Thakur and Vijay Govinda deities of Baladeva Vidya Bhushan and Govardhan Sila given to Loknath Das Goswami by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given personally Gaur Damshila to Raghunath Das Goswami. Like that, Raghunath Bhatta Goswami also received uh, three important gifts from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And so, in this way, we can understand this Radha Gokulananda deity was uh, actually by the help of Vishwanath Chakra Thakur, this temple was built. Um, so, both of them, Loknath Goswami and Vishwanath Chakra Thakur, um, established this temple. Um, so, Vishwanath Chakra Thakur. His Guru Radha Raman Chakravarti asked him to copy Srimad Bhagavatam in his home while writing. He entered into trance. He wrote day and night, even though the sun was scorching, but miraculously the spot where he sat was shaded. Another day it rained, but there was no rain on Vishwana Chakravarti. The local landlord saw this miracle and told the townspeople much to Vishwana's embarrassment. After some time, his spiritual master ordered him to live in Radha Kund and write books. One Brahmachari came from Madhura and had a dream in which the Lord appeared to him and asked him to give his small Gokulananda deity to Vishwanath. He did so, but Vishwanath refused to take the deity because he could not afford proper worship. That night the Lord appeared to Vishwanath Chakra Thakur and told him that he would arrange everything necessary for the offerings. The Brahmachari had another dream this time and Vishwanath accepted. This is Radha Gokulananda deity, how it came to appear. After the disappearance of Jeeva Goswami, a controversy arose among his followers. Some believed that Radha and Krishna are eternally married, Swakiras, and should be uh, should not be worshipped as paramours in Parakiras. In order to accommodate neophytes, Jeeva Goswami acknowledges Swakiras in his book Ujjwala Nilamani, but his followers failed to see that in his other books he wrote about Parakiras was taught by Lord Chaitanya himself. This is only for the Lord, not for um, um, not for Baddha Jeeva. Vishwana Chakra Thakur defeated the controversy, but the pundits got angry and plotted to kill him. They waited for him in a secluded place for a long time, but he was not coming. Suddenly, they saw a very beautiful young girl picking flowers. They were completely enchanted by her beauty. They forgot their enmity towards Vishwana and asked her who she was. The girl replied, she is the maid servant of Sri Radha. She is collecting flowers so that Radha... Uh, so that Sri Radha could make a garland for her beloved Paramahansa Krishna. Upon saying this, the girl disappeared. 
and the scholar say so only vishnu is sitting there then vishnu asked them which place lies between varsana and nandagram sanket they replied why radha meets krishna at sanket but not at krishna's home in nandagram If the divine couple are actually married they could easily meet at his friend's home in nandagram instead they meet at sanket the place of yoga maya who arranges their meeting soon after this incident these scholars became vishnu's disciples Uh, you can understand how significant these are uh, how vishnu chakra talks um, um, prominence is been described uh, to establish deity and how directly the uh, this past tense are happening so that um, it can reveal the significance this is not a brindavan uh, all the past times are even till today the past times are eternally going on because there is not non difference from bom brindavan to the goal of brindavan so this is all. we just cannot see on manifested past tense aprakrita and prakrita leelas prakrita leela means manifested aprakrita means on manifested which we are not able to see with our eyes unless we have premanjana charita bhakti vilochana ena santasta deva rudesh vilokena yam shana sundaram achinti guna swarupam govinda mad purusham tam pujam unless our eyes are anointed with this love with this ecstasy with this intensity and absorption we really cry then you can see how oh, these past times of the lord so otherwise it's just not possible god will not show this past times to us because we are not qualified and so that's how you can understand this will end with uh, so lokanath goswami uh, there is a um, few verses or poem was written shri kishori kond is a charming little pond located in amlet of umra by the side of chatravan lokanath goswami decided to stay there for some time to shelter it's quite added while his heart was consumed by desire to engage in deity worship jani lena prabhu lokanath utkandita anya rupe vigraha laya upasthita Residing in his heart, Sri Chaitanya was sympathetic to Lokanath Goswami's retrieved spirit. Thus, he came incognito and carrying a deity. Radha Vinoda Nama Kahi Sam Samar Pila Sei Kshane Teno Tata Adarshana Leela. While handing over the deity, he informed Lokanath Goswami that the deity was to be known as Sri Radha Vinod. Then he disappeared. Personally, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu how he is appearing and calling, giving the name of the deity and giving in the hand of Lokanath Goswami to worship. Because of intensity, just like Gadadhar Pandit also had, he didn't want. Uh, he want to go. He was. He has taken already Kshetra Sanyasi, but he want to go. He didn't want to stay at uh, as Kshetra Sanyasi because Kshetra Mahaprabhu was living intense separation because Gadadhar Pandit is not a Dharam Singh Madhavaran. So then Kshetra Mahaprabhu said, No, 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 he cannot do this. You have to stay back. And then he gave his own deity, Arthota Gopina deity. And that's how he was intensely separated in separation. So that's how the deity worship has to come to that level. But right now we are not at that level. Even though we worship, we don't feel that. We don't even feel like our family member. For family member, wife, for children, we have so much attachment, but we don't have the same thing to the deity. So that's where that says the process helps to go deeper and deeper. We should feel that Lord is angry. We should feel that I should offer this. And so we should develop that intense attachment. More we absorb in that way, then our actual real mood for chanting, real mood for hearing, real mood for service will develop. That's the deity worship it has to go hand in hand along with chanting. Otherwise, it's very difficult to develop taste, uh, a real deep desire as a servant of Krishna in our heart. Very difficult. Lokanath Goswami chanta ye mane mane ke hari vigraha diya gela kon kane confounded Lokanath Goswami pondered long over the identity of the person who delivered him the deity. Chanta ye vyakule Lokanath nira kia si Radha Vinod tata kahi na hastiya. Observing Lokanath confusion, si Radha Vinod spoke with gentle smile on his lips. Deity speaking directly. Can you imagine what kind of devotion. ये उमराव ग्रामे विपने वसति ये ये किशोरी कुंडे ये ता मोर अस्तिति the lady is a dye vendor in the wood surrounding उमराव my permanent residence is here on the bank of किशोरी कुंड तुम्हार उत्कंठ देखी व्याकुला हिला के मोरा अनीबे मुनी मुनी अपनी आइला seeing the intensity of your running I became concerned so I arranged for my own delivery who else could do it 
शीघ्र करी मोरे खींचु कराओ पक्षणा सुनी प्रेम धारा नेत्रे वहे अनुक्षणा नाउ आई एम वेरी हंगरी फीड मी क्विकली इरिंग दिस लोकनाथ गोस्वामी एक्सट्रेटिक एंड बिगैन वीपिंग सो इन दिस वे वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस पुरुष महाराज गोइंग बैक होम बैक टू गॉड हेड बाय merging all these elements but this is the process of understanding the process of creation is why lord is creating why lord is maintaining why lord is annihilating uh, this we have to understand this temporary mode because lord is giving a chance because living and is not using their free will to serve lord krishna is um, again and again getting um, developed attachment to the um, temporary enjoyment flickering happiness in this material world thinking that this is the permanent happiness But uh, otherwise, our original position is such that on the because our original position is servant of Krishna. So unless we revive that position, understand what is our permanent position and our uh, permanent relation with the Supreme Lord. You know, so until that point, this creation will go on. These elements, gross elements, subtle elements, uh, sense objects, all these twenty-six elements is getting created. The universe is getting created. Fourteen planets is being created. Will our Brahma? Then everybody, the souls are placed in certain. Homes and appearing in different villages, different countries, different continents, and different families. And this is what is con- constant. This is both the both the ability. So, but once the living and the awakens his consciousness and serves the spiritual master, the presentity of the Lord, then Lord can actually bring us back to God. That's why He is coming and again and again performing the beautiful pastimes in Vrindavan and. And Dwarka and Mathura and all these places, Jagannath Puri and all these places, Lord is performing to actually to tell us that come back home. That is one meaning of Bhagwan, one who comes here as maintain a bhakta. And Gaur is one who comes here to take us back, show his opulences, to show his sweetness and attractiveness, and take us back to the eternal abode of Vaikuntha and Golok Vrindavan and share his opulences. Baga one, that is what is one meaning. So that's why Lord is performing this to attract, to take us back, so that we can have permanent enjoyment. So with that, we'll stop here. Thank you, Mother Vishnu. Under our Sri Mat Bhagavatam ki jai, Shubhobad ki jai, Gaur Bhaktam ki.